tenth season now for Tony Shaver. But Tony, I would be remiss without asking you: Did season number nine seem like it was ever going to be a healthy season at all? You guys got hammered last year right from the get-go with injuries. Yeah, we did. I mean, it's a season we're trying to put behind us a little bit. It was a nightmare in, in many ways, and and most of it we didn't control. Uh, and that's the hard part about coaching sometimes. But I think from that you learn. Uh, sometimes. Uh, you know, creating good leaders comes from difficult situations, and it will be a better team because of it this year. Well, one of the guys I really liked two years ago was Kyle Gaylord. He uh, he runs the floor tremendously well for a person of his size. Is he back healthy, and will he play a big part in the team this year? Charlie, he'll play a real key role for us this year, no doubt about it. He was one of the kids that missed the whole year last year, and uh, I'll just tell you, I'll be a better coach because Kyle's sitting on the bench <laughs> and playing with us this year. But Kyle's grown from – Probably 6'6 six, six to 6'8 six, right now. He's stronger, uh, really and truly. Other than being a little bit rusty with basketball skills, you know, you can't tell that he's hurt in any way. I think he's regaining his confidence right now. Um, very versatile player. You know, he's going to be a redshirt junior, so he's got some experience. And uh, the young guy that scored 23 or 24 at North Carolina a couple right. years ago. So it's a great piece of the puzzle I'm glad to have back. Yeah. We're seeing a little bit of, of some of your players, and we, and we see some dynamic young players. Marcus Thornton certainly has had a, you know, a breakout start to his career. How do you see his evolution, and, and, and what kind of role does he play for you this year? Now, he'll play a really key role. Well, he's one of the more talented young men I've recruited. And, and the great thing about Marcus right now, and he has to prove this when the lights come on, on game day, but between his, all freshmen grow, but Marcus between his freshman and sophomore year has grown and matured about as, any, as, as much as any young guy that I've coached. Um, you know, great guards make your team better. Great guards make teammates better. And I think he really understands that right now. We're gonna use his skills now. We're gonna mm -hmm. let him play. But uh, I think he understands he's got both feet in that circle right now, and he's a great teammate, and I think he's going to have a great year and a great career. Another one of those guys that was hurt early in the season, Tim Rustov and Tony, I think is going to be an excellent player at William Mary. Uh, where will he fit in this year? Well, he'll be a key player as well, Charlie. He, uh, you know, he missed the first third of the year last year. Tim's stronger. He's healthy. He's got a little weight on him right now. He's a junior. Uh, as a freshman, sophomore, we got beat around pretty good inside, but uh, playing at a very high level for us right now. Um, I've, I've always felt Tim could be an all-CAA performer, and I think we're going to see that from him this year. What about some of the freshmen you have coming in? They're freshmen. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I like them both very much. We have two coming in. Uh, Sean Sheldon is a 6'8", 6'9", post player, not – not a pure post, can play a lot of different spots for us from Traverse City, Michigan. Great kid, very high motor now, very high motor for a big kid. Um, how he fits in, I'm not 100% sure for this year. His career is going to be a good one, but uh, he has a chance to play for us some this year. Uh, Terry Tarpey, 6'5", out of Connecticut. Uh, another very good player, great athlete will be on day one one of our best defenders. He really can defend the basketball. He's athletic, he's long, great anticipation. And it's interesting with Terry, normally freshmen are ready to play offensively but not defensively. Terry's just the opposite. He's ready to play right now on the defensive end, but it's gonna take him some time to to understand the subtleties of our offense and play with a little bit of freedom. You mentioned your offense. When you have guys coming back, when you've got a guy, as we mentioned, a dynamic performer like a Marcus Thornton, do you make some adjustments and do some things differently to your offense this year than Ab maybe we've seen in the past? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, it will be a, maybe a drastic change that people in the stands will say, wow, you know, that's really different. We do hope to run more, but as I told our guards, you'll determine whether we run more or not. If you make good decisions, we're going to run more because I love to run, I'll tell you that. But, you know, we're not going to run and throw the ball all over the gym. So as long as they make good decisions, there'll be a little more up-tempo, uh, maybe a little bit more uh, opportunity to put some of those guys one-on-one -on -one situations and let them play a little bit. But uh, uh, there'll be some changes, certainly, and, and I think a good coach has to adapt to your personnel. How do you see the league this year? I mean, it's always a tough, we just talked about with all the 20-plus win teams and Drexel returning so many players. How do you see the league shaping up this season? Well, I think the league's once again going to be great. Uh, I really do. Uh, um, I've been asked a lot about the league in the last six months, and 
I think the CAA will remain a great basketball league. I know, what was it, 12, 14 years ago when Richmond and American and maybe East Carolina left the league. I was at Hampton, Sydney at the time, and people were saying the CAA is going to dissolve. Well, it's been a pretty good league the last five or six years, so it's going to stay a good league. I'm not sure who's coming into the league at this point. All I'm really concerned about is William and Mary right now. <laughs> well, your friend here says this is going to be the year of the guard. Do you, you agree with that? A lot of great guards in the league. We have some of them, too. I really yeah. believe that. So, uh, and, I, and I, as Charlie knows, I think, you know, you don't win championships unless you have great guard play. Brandon Britt, we hadn't mentioned him, yeah. but I think the youngster is really a good basketball player. Can penetrate the floor, can push the basketball. He's going to have a good year. Charlie, I don't, I don't guarantee a lot of things, but I'm going to guarantee that, Mar that Brandon's going to have a great year. Uh, he, had a, he, he, too, had a very difficult year last year and uh, trying family situation right before the season. Uh, wasn't itself last year. And uh, I've never had 37 years of coaching. I've never had a young guy work harder in the offseason on the things we ask him to do than Brandon Britt. He's going to have a good year. He's going to run our club the right way. And... Uh, I just anticipate great things for him. Well, the one thing I see, that these kids love basketball, and that's a big plus. They really do. We, uh, we have a lot of guys in that gym for extra time, and, and we're very excited about where things are right now. Okay. Well, Tony, thank you for joining us, and we wish you very good Thanks, luck Al. this year. Appreciate it. Tony Shaver, the head coach at William & Mary.